Hello everyone, it's Lisa. Welcome to my very first video in this new series called One Painting, Two Ways. This is the Bowl of Fruit edition. And as you can see, I am drawing and sketching this bowl of fruit and starting to paint it in with some watercolors. So this first way is a more realistic, uh, I hesitate to say realistic because I don't really paint in the realistic style, but it's more realistic than the other way. And I would like to call this this, uh, the tight version. So I'm trying to be precise, which is why I did a pencil sketch first, and then I'm going in with watercolor and starting to fill in the colors, trying to maintain the integrity of the colors and not letting them bleed into each other. So I'm working one color at a time in areas that are not touching. So I've uh, just colored in the blueberries or the strawberries. I know my fruits, trust me, I do. Um, so the strawberries, I use two colors of red. I used alizarin crimson over top of some cadmium red. And here for the blueberries, I'm using cerulean blue. And then I'm going to charge in with a little bit of ultramarine blue. And I'm using Windsor Newton Cotman colors. It's a student grade paint and it works pretty well. I'm also using the Canson watercolor paper. So nothing fancy here, nothing terribly expensive. I think the most expensive thing I'm using is the brush. So I just tore the, uh, the, the artwork out of my sketchbook and now I'm going to do the exact same piece of artwork in a different style. And as you can see, I have not done any sketch work. I'm going straight on the paper with my watercolors. So we call this direct watercolor and it's because we're not actually drawing the picture with anything besides watercolors. And um, a couple of years ago I did a direct 30 by 30 watercolor challenge that was put out by Mark Tarot Holmes and I got really interested in this style at that time and I haven't really done a whole lot of it lately but um, whenever I do these two looks um, style of, of video videos, I definitely enjoyed adding this as one of the styles. So this whole video was originally recorded during a live stream and um, I had a really great time chatting with a bunch of friends and they gave me some tips. They helped me pick what picture to paint. They helped me, they gave me lots of advice on, on different aspects of what I was doing. Um, here I'm just dabbing off some paint because I went a little overzealous with my, um, with my loose style and some of the strawberry had bled into the blue blueberry so badly that it was making a big mess. All right, so now I'm back to the first painting. I had a chance to dry and now I can put on another layer of some deeper colors. So I'm using my ultramarine blue to just add those darker deep bits to the blueberries. And uh, I'll do the same thing in here, adding some more color to the strawberries. I actually added a little bit of blue in there. And now I'm layering some vermilion over my sap green and just uh, adding some depth into the leaves of the strawberry. So I've been alternating back and forth between these two styles because I'm, I filmed it during a live stream and obviously I needed to let things dry while I chatted with the viewers. So here I'm working on the loose style again, waiting for the first one to dry some more and I'm filling in some of the shadows. I'm working with my burnt umber and just really giving it a nice um, accent in the darker areas. So I'm pulling the paint along here, just, you know, giving it that little bit of um, shading and gradation and then charging in really with lots of paint, probably too much paint. I had to wait a long time for this to dry um, in the shadows of the blueberries and then adding a bit of extra red in the spot areas of these strawberries. And then I'm going to have to let this one dry again. And we're back to the first piece. So now I'm just again darkening up all of my areas, adding more uh, tone into these into these beautiful berries that I'm trying to get into a quasi realistic style, and you know still just adding more color in all of these areas, doing my best to keep things tight and crisp and somewhat realistic. And so what would an art project be without a catastrophe? So yeah, I just splotched a bunch of brown paint on the side of my paper, but fortunately um, I was able to get it up. These, these pigments are not particularly staining and I, I, once it dried, I don't think I could even see the brown splotch that I had to clean off. 
So again, I'm just crisping up and tightening up all of the shading here, trying to really pull this bowl off the page. The more I paint, the more I work with paints, the more I realize that the real key to um, having things come off the page is to work with the depth of the shadows. Often when I'm halfway finished a painting, I don't feel like it looks very good. And usually it's just because everything's still really pale. I'm still working with that underpainting with those lightest colors. And then the more time I spend looking at my reference and checking for shadows, the more I can really see where they go. Here I'm just smoothing out a line so it's nice and tight and crisp. And again, deepening the color of the shadows so that the bowl is really popping off the page, um, giving it just that weight at the bottom so you feel like there's a shadow being cast. All right, so the strawberry is dry and now I'm going in with a gel pen and just adding those little seeds all over the top. I could have masked them off, but that would have taken a long time to dry. So it's easier to do this in, in post. And then adding a few little reflections onto the blueberries and the strawberries and even a few little reflections on the leaves. I know they're not that shiny, but it really brings them to life. And then I can even add a little bit of um, reflection on the bowl as well, just along the rim here. So we're not done yet. Um, we're gonna go back over to the other piece of artwork and we're going to see what we can do over there to finish it up. So uh, in this one, I'm now deepening the color some more, adding a little more depth. So this one, I had to wait until it was fully dry to fully render the image. Cause you can see right now, it looks fairly, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say weak, just because there are no lines on the on the page at all. Everything here is done with paint, and well, I'm using a, a pen right now, but it's just to add those little highlights. So after I finished the live stream and after the painting was fully dry, I did go back in with a marker and I added in some sketch lines, and I'll show them to you here now. You can see that they add just that, they pop off around the edges and emphasize the edges of the painting, giving it more an illustrative style. And here you can contrast it with the original. So this is the first one that I started, which is the sketched and tight style. And then we have the uh, second style, which is loose with some line work done after everything is dry. And I had fun painting both of them, but I'm super curious which one you like the best. So please subscribe and follow for more live streams and videos and let me know which was your favorite. I'll see you next time.